So now that November is over, it's time for a portfolio update. I know I did one a few weeks ago, but I want to do them each end of the month. That way I can update what happened throughout the month and you guys can see sort of my progress. So we're going to start off with Robinhood. As you can see, the account is at 7,137 as of now. Um, the market did go up uh, this week, I believe. Yeah, it went up 0.69% still not a lot the whole market is down overall as you can see my all time is 11 percent um downside that i've lost but let's take a look at some of the uh shares that i bought so these are all the dividends that i received from 3m from walgreens invesco kroger tjx and intel and then i bought google i bought a share of realty income i bought intel I bought Comcast. I opened a position in this rate, which is Apple Hospitality. Um, I bought another share of Realty Income, bought another share of Verizon, bought a share of Altria, another share of Altria, another share of Realty Income, and I sold Tyson Foods. The reason why I sold this company is I already have Kroger, so didn't really see the point in having two uh, food companies. Um, that's the month for now on Robinhood. Now, as you can see here, we are above the 52 week range about 20 dollars from the low of the year but if you want to know what analysts are saying about this company still if you go over to ratings and seeking alpha you go over to wall street rating it has a 4.6 buy out of five it has 34 strong buys 12 buys and four holds it has no sells so to me this is a good sign people are still inclined on buying google and that's why i keep investing on it even though Google doesn't pay a dividend, I still keep buying the stock because it's a great company as I've explained before in previous videos. If you take a look at this chart, Google is the blue line. During this crazy market, it hasn't performed the worst from tech stocks. It's not the best either. Microsoft has gotten the most returns. Well, not returns though. It has recuperated, recuperated the best. But however, Google's right behind it and Google's been around for years and I believe it will continue to be so. That's why I'm still investing in this company. Obviously, like all the stocks, as you saw in the previous chart, every single stock has taken a hit in this market. But if you take a look at this graph, Google has been down 68% from its high. And that's a huge discount on a company like this. So in my opinion, I think it's smart to start making investments in such a company. Now, guys, do your own due diligence. As I always say, don't just follow my opinion. But I think Google is a great stock and it's going to be around for a long time. Now, if we jumped over to Fidelity, which is my Roth IRA account. We can see the balance is at 2,961. And then when we go to performance, uh, all accounts, let it load here a little bit, continue. For one year, I'm down $321. Wow. Okay, so a year, uh, and then we go lifetime data. I'm down only $58. So, I mean, it's not bad. The whole market is down when it recuperates and I keep investing. It's going to be, I'm going to get some returns, right? And then moving on to Fundrise, the portfolio is pretty much the same as it was last time because I didn't invest in it this month. Um, as you can see, the net returns to date is $63.87, but it's been, what, maybe like a year or two that I've had this. Um, I've gotten paid all time $9 in dividends. 55 in appreciation and then this is the regular advisory fees that fundraise charges you just to invest with them next up we have acorns now the amount is at 936 dollars with seven cents uh i pretty much have acorns just because to have another sort of investment um what acorns doors is every time you make a purchase with your card it invests the change right so let's say you buy something for 19 dollars and 50 cents acres would take out the extra 50 cents on your account run it up to 20 dollars your whole purchase and then invest those 50 cents in your account now if you go here to potential also you can have it um you can invest by it, it weekly so as you can see here i have five dollars every monday that i invest in it and then hypothetical uh resort uh results when i'm 53 i'm going to have fifty seven thousand dollars at age 54 it's not bad here your investment will be twenty thousand dollars and then your return will be thirty seven thousand that's not bad at all but this is hypothetical it doesn't really mean it's going to happen so yeah here you can see sort of a visual representation of what my holdings are and then this is the total eleven thousand one hundred and forty with everything combined 
So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. See you on the next one.